Hey guys, it's Kaylor. Welcome to the YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to take a look at Freehand from Envision. So there's a lot Freehand can do, and if you haven't used Freehand before, I recommend you check it out. This isn't a promoted video or anything, I just really like this tool, and I've now incorporated it into my workflow along with Milanote and Adobe XD. So when you log in, you'll be brought to the project section, and I don't have any, so it has some examples here, but I'm just going to click the plus icon, and I'm going to select the Freehand option. I selected Freehand. That's your cue. Safari. That's your cue. There we go. So if your internet doesn't go out, you'll be brought to this screen. You have some basic tools up here at the top. First off, we have the pointer. This is basically the selection tool. V or one on the keyboard will get you that. Uh, pencil, this is what you draw with. P or two on the keyboard. The type tool, T or three. And then image is I or four. And then eraser is E or five. Over here, you can save the draft. And up here, you have some different things you can do. You can share this, you can present, or if you click these three dots, you can change your color, which is great if you're working with multiple people on a team. You can each have your color and you can see that easily on the screen when you start to draw or when you even type, it will be in that color as well as you can see, just like that. So I'll just select all that and delete it. Down here at the bottom, you have the zoom controls. I can pinch with my mouse to zoom or you can use the plus and minus. And then finally, we have the keyboard shortcuts, which gives us the editing, formatting and application shortcuts. I recommend you check these out uh, because you can do more with this than I thought originally. You can even fill the shape in, which is what I do quite a bit uh, with command E. Uh, so once you've read through those, uh, what we're going to be doing today is just kind of designing two little app screens here, showing you exactly what this can do. So when you first start using this, they'll give you a little tutorial. I'm going to select the pencil with the full opacity red. Uh, when you hold option or alt, it's going to automatically detect if you're trying to draw a rectangle or a circle. So if I start drawing a line, I can get like an iPhone 10 artboard. If I hold alt and try my best to draw a circle. It kind of gives me a decent size one here. And you, when you select things, you can scale them up or you can even change the dimensions a little bit uh, with the scaling. So let's draw a profile screen since we already have that kind of worked out here. Uh, let's put a back icon in here. So I'll just zoom in there. And holding shift will draw a straight line at any of these increments you see. And let's just go with that. And then we'll make a point there and a point there. If we zoom in a bit, we can edit that to actually look like an arrow. I think that needs to go out a little further and then we'll do that. So we'll zoom out. And then over here we can draw a bell icon. I'll try my best at this. Uh, let's just draw a little half circle and then like that. Oh, this is a fantastic bell. I'm going to select that and hit command E to fill it. And you can kind of see what that does. And this needs to be a little larger. So I'm going to scale that up a bit. And so you can see our sketch or wireframe is starting to take shape just a little bit. We can even add the user name under our icon and we'll scale that up to the size of a heading. I'll even draw the icon in here as well. So we'll have the body and then hold alt, drag a circle for the head. It's a horrible body, but it will work and we'll just fill that in. Below that, let's put what they do. I'll just fill this in with UI UX designer. And then we will scale that down a little bit. Put that below there. So again, we can hold shift for straight lines. So we'll draw out a separator line and we'll also put some squares. Maybe we have some content down here like a user post. I'm going to hold alt and click and drag and we can make duplicates that way. These are a little large, so I'm just going to drag and select all of them and then make a few rows of this. And there we go. Command Z will also undo just like most programs. Uh, so there we have a pretty basic user profile screen. Also a really good reason I like this is not only can you import images of your actual designed app screens, uh, but I like to sometimes get a good feel uh, for how something is going to look later on while I'm sketching or wireframing. For example, if I have a card on the screen and I want to check an illustration in that just to make sure that this is overall going to look good, I can select the image and import one in. So my image is now importing. It's fairly large, so we'll have to scale this down. Just scale it down like that. 
and we can go ahead and put that in the card and get a good feel for how this is going to look later on. And this is something I obviously couldn't do on paper. And so now I can just go on a little bit further and let's just add some text in here with some lines. And maybe even drag the back arrow icon over here. So very quickly, I've drawn two screens that I can begin uh, to move on in my design process from. Uh, I know if this illustration works a little bit or not, just by kind of dragging it in here. Uh, I wouldn't recommend just dragging in a bunch of images this early on, but sometimes I do like to make sure that an illustration uh, is going to look good on a card or something, so I will do that occasionally. Uh, but you can see that this is going to be a really easy tool to generate a lot of screens and sketch very quickly. Uh, I prefer this over drawing with a pencil any day. Uh, also, if you are working with a team, it's a great environment. I've quickly just switched over to a blue color. Uh, so if another member of a team was to come in here, uh, they can just draw like an arrow to this icon, for example, and then just type in, change this icon. And so we all know that the icon needs to be changed. Uh, so not only can you use this for this part of your workflow, but you can revisit this when you have screens and you guys can collaborate in here and start to make changes uh, on the actual design screens as well. But this is what I personally use it for and I would highly recommend you guys try it out over sketching on paper just to see if you kind of like it. Or you could even sketch on paper and then move into this to try to get some nice wireframes laid out and just test some things out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, consider giving it a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think of freehand down in the comments. Have you guys used this before and what do you like to use it for? So let me know down in the comments. Subscribe for more design and code related content. Make sure you have the notification bell on so you don't miss a video. And as always, have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one.